All right, tubers, we're working on the trailer again. Been a while. Let me get my thing mounted here. I want to try and reuse one of the holes on the frame. I'm thinking of going right in the center here. So we went in the back here. Gee, that's, that's pretty low. That's pretty freaking low. <laughs> oh, you know what? You gotta pull this out and you flip it. Okay. So. Or is it in the folded up position is what I want to know. Yeah, that fits pretty good. I think I'm gonna put it right, right about here. I can, I'm gonna try and reuse one factory hole. Dead battery. Okay, so the bolts that they gave me are way too long. I got actually I got too much shoulder. So I went with uh, these cross member bolts from Fords that we have picked apart and mutilated in the past. So I'm gonna put that in the correct way now. I got four. Oh nice. A half. So I'm gonna have to Oh wow, it's going to be a tight fit. I'm going to have to bore these out a little bit. I'm going to lock her down and then I'm going to do my center punches and then we'll just drill out the rest of the holes and bolt it down and we'll be done. So we're going to punch out the holes we want to make. This actually works even with the one bolt. So I want to, I want to keep the spread up as wide as possible. So I'm going to go the center of this one here. It's not the best center punch. There we go. But it works. Good enough for me. So I went ahead and did stepped drilling on this. What I did is I went, started with a small drill bit and then worked my way up. Um, I went from like a, I think a 5 16 I used first and then I went to the half inch and that worked out pretty good. Worked out good. So now I'm gonna go to the bench, drill out the holes for the uh, dude there and we should be able to bolt that up. This is overkill, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit too. First of all. Thank you. 
these are nice and tight because I had one come loose one time and that was a close call. She wrote. Test it, make sure she is latched. There she is. Nice and snug. Done. I'm going to get a little strap to keep on there to keep that handle up, but we're done with that part. Later when Adam leaves, I'm going to back the trailer in and uh, start doing the wiring and getting the chains hooked up and get a bolt or a pin to go through that lock because you want to have a pin going through here to keep it from unlocking. Pieces here. I thought I had some uh, flat stock somewhere. I don't think this is wide enough. Or is it? Oh my god. Okay, that's going to be almost perfect. Hang on, I'm going to fall over. I'm obviously not going to weld on anything over here. I could almost grind it down a little bit and maybe... I'll just leave it right in here and I'll just weld right in there, right in there. I'll probably get some plate, stick it over there and weld that in. moving it around I haven't really I've been jumping on this thing too I haven't seen any of this let go this is all been pretty good um, the chain setup is temporary I got to figure out something different I got these hooks here or these holes right in here but I almost want to just take the chain in there and weld it into that hole so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there um, but the jack bolted right in after well, I obviously had to drill some holes but Faulted that right in that I'm not worried about that breaking I mean this is just gonna keep it lifted up so this is part of the old wiring harness it's a little chewed up I'm gonna cut the shenanigans off of it put it in the wiring box bundle it up this is the other part this goes all the way to the cab that's my new harness I'm gonna string up here in a moment Kind of loosely in place, and of course it's leaking diesel again. I'm gonna have to undo that and pour it into a jug. I might go do that so I can get how much see how much fuel I can get out of it. So it's run along the frame, and is attached to some of the factory uh, fasteners now. And for right now, I just got it rat's nest up in there. My tape job and my tape job ended perfectly on this. So. That let, it ends right after it gets past that last hole, wiring hole, um, in the rear cross member. And so now it splits off and I can take one set of the wires up there, another set to the other side. Actually, it was just enough wire for this. Oh, I think it's about, about, blah, 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 blah. I'm done for tonight. That's about all I'm going to do. I've got all the unnecessary crap out of here you <clears throat> break cables if I bundle all that up and throw it right in the garbage so the trailer I think I'm just gonna keep pecking away here you know once once or twice a month here just until it's it's to a point where we can use it yeah okay well tubers she's coming along <laughs>